Right now. We are actually going around trying to make a documentary about people and like the stories that define them. So do you have a story that you want to share? Oh, he's filming? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> For me, it would have to be the mission like completely changed my life. I went to South America, obviously, for two years, went to Argentina. It was a sacrifice, because I had to leave everything that I knew, right? But, honestly, like, the mission that I did, we're focused 24 hours a day for seven days a week on other people and their lives. So, honestly, like, that's something that I learned completely, focusing on helping others <laughs> will make you happy. Like, if you want to be happy, that's, like, the key to happiness for my life. And to... That's all. So uh, when I was 18, actually 17, I decided I was going to go to Europe. And of course, back in those days, that was about 1971. Uh, that was not too unusual, but a lot of the guys, you know, friends, people would say, uh, "You're going to go on a tour," and I go, "No, we're just going to go. We're going to take our bikes, we're going to jump on the plane, and we're going to go." And uh, so uh, they go, oh, "You can't do that." And I go. Don't tell me, if you ever want me to do something, tell me I can't do it. That's like most people, right? I realized at that moment that, you know what, most of the time you don't know what you're doing. You really don't. But it doesn't really matter. You should just do it. Right? We're going around asking people what's their story or what's their moment. Hey! We're wondering if you would have a moment to share a story. Right now? Sure. Or any other time that you think. Okay, I I gotta keep working on some, something right now. But uh, if you want, so we'll hang around. Want to stop? What? But there's a lot of stories. I know. But you gotta okay. be more specific. You can't. Just, okay. You can't just say. Mm. What's the one story that we need to do? Or give me a story that you will always think of. I need to do some more. So empathy, you, me, us, and empathy. And that, then that gives them that, okay, now I get it. Okay. Now, most of them were real simple, but as they were being told, they were super powerful. That's incredible. And that's, that's pretty much what we're trying to do. I mean, do you have a story like that? I mean, you I have do. One. Would you like to share it with us? I can come back. I got my husband to a psychiatrist and a doctor within the next two days, and sure enough, it's what it was. But it so significantly changed my idea of what security was, mm -hmm. of what was permanent, and even what was tangible. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, I thought marriage was tangible. Mm -hmm. but and that our psychology was tangible somehow. And it really changed my whole idea about what was out there for, for people to have, right? To have in their bodies, to have in their soul, to have in their mind, to have in their chemistry. Yeah, well, the thing is that also it's like, if I don't have this place, I don't have a lot. There's nothing, no. there's nothing. And um, it's, it's Awesome to see how much support I have in this theater, no matter who walks in. <laughs> oh man, this this made my day. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're awesome. Good, dude. I haven't really thought about this kind of in a while. Cool. To reflect. I like that. Yeah. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan. Anton. Nice to meet you. Cool. Yeah. This what's is this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs>